Hey, what up, guys? It's Justin, and I'm going to show you guys how to upload a theme to a self hosted WordPress website. Uh, I'm start by opening a website. Uh, a client of mine, one of the benefits of having me create your website is that I will go in randomly and just make sure things are up to par. Uh, you know, it's this thing that she was using, my client was using, just wasn't the cleanest. Well, it's clean as far as code is concerned. Just wasn't page speed friendly, if that makes any sense. Uh, one thing you always want to make sure you do <coughs> is test page speed before committing to a, a theme. That's why you're not dishing out 50 bucks a pop. Just to realize you were just testing that out. Okay, that's cool. Alright. <clears throat> okay, first thing you want to do, if there's a theme already installed, in which case there is you want to first go to themes and I like to default to one of the uh, original WordPress I'll go 2015 <clears throat> all right and then from here we can go and uh, make sure the plugins are going to be interfere with any of the features that will be installed with the theme if there are any which I'm pretty sure there will be. So I'm just gonna select all these and then we don't need to deactivate that 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 I would say I know these plugins that I'm deactivating. I would say deactivate anything that's theme specific right off the back because those are going to give you the like for instance this by theme fusion it's like a a given you would want to de <clears throat> deactivate something like that um layer slider not the security that won't really do much these could they shouldn't but they could Sliders, avatars, probably don't have to do that, don't have to do that, don't have to do that. And yeah, you just saw like a whole suite of plugins that you can probably use. It, that's all WordPress is, it's just you being able to see which plugins work together with your setup to, to get your, your, uh, your setup going. So I'm going to disable that too in WooCommerce <clears throat> just because I've had issues with those in the past one. I'm going to deactivate those. Okay, yeah, that's empty. I don't want old stuff loading up. Okay, now. It's what needs to be updated. Let's just do that now. Alrighty. And preparation's pretty much done there. So the next step would be to get the file which should be in zip format. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can do the drag and drop or click and upload way via WordPress's uh, interface. Or you can go and download, uh, let me see if I even have it on this system. <coughs> that would be file silver. Yes, I do have it.
and from here you would I'm not going to do it because I don't want to go through the editing process and learn all this stuff but you would go here and type in the host via uh, your registrars wherever you got your hosting account go in there you can get that information you can plug that in here and uh, type in the password and stuff and log in and you would pretty much see a pretty much how this is set up here you would have that same access to your website there I'm just gonna do this a simple way I'm gonna go back to themes that their appearance add new theme and upload theme <clears throat> now there's a the tricky part sometimes people get uh, messed up here you'll see a zip file right away and usually any information you're telling you just get it's telling you to uh, just upload the zip file so naturally you just want to go and throw it in there but you always want to check in here to see if there's more files in which case there is that's the actual theme file you want to drag that one out Not the complicated one, but the one that usually has a more readable title. And then you drag that in there. Click install. Theme installed successfully. If your theme is taking a while, if it takes any longer than I would say 15, 20 seconds. Um, there's probably an error or your theme is just incredibly large as far as the content that's in the package <clears throat> or you may have done the mistake that I mentioned could happen of uploading the the topmost zip file which would be this one if you can see the difference in size here you'll see why you'd be way longer it has more of the goodies attached to it that don't have to necessarily be on the website for the public okay now before I activate I'm just gonna go to themes just to make sure this actually did work well I might give you guys a tutorial on child theming as well too but uh, not just yet got a lot more going on so we're gonna activate on the This is what you want to pay attention to here. This right here. This theme requires the following plugins. Theme move. So on this thing recommends and this one recommends. Which is currently inactive. So that one's usually on most themes nowadays. Just because uh, it's a very very efficient way of creating your contact forms and forms in general. So uh, I do recommend using those. Yeah, begin installing plugins. So with them all, install, apply. I do know my microphone quality could be better. I'm on a PlayStation headset, a PlayStation Gold headset. I will get a better microphone eventually, but for now you gotta deal with it. <laughs> Yeah, see, your theme does not declare WooCommerce support. That doesn't stop you from using it. It's just, it can be integrated. Okay, so let's just see how this looks on the front end. I just control click. That opens new tabs in most browsers. Hold down control and then click the link. And so this is it. This is the the theme in its default. Pretty smooth.
and pretty much just get the adjusting to your liking and that's it yeah. like if you uh, learn something here or if you just think the video is cool uh, subscribe too thanks for watching